Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin, and I am filling in for our sweet Debbie today. I hope I'm doing it right. Hope I can find myself. I have a little different angle. I want y'all to see this today. I'm, I may have to fiddle with it. You'll have to let me know if you can see okay. Let me get this going so I can see your comments. It's raining here and I have to have the windows open because it's so warm. Hey Betty! How are you doing today? I hope you're feeling better. Oh, good, Cindy. I'm here, and you're here. Yay, everybody's getting here. I hope that we can just all show up for Debbie while she's out for a while. Not good still, Betty. Ugh, that gallbladder. I'm telling you what. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Uh, do you have any, um, oh, it's my pleasure. I'm happy to do this. Hi, Ruth. Minnie's here and Barbara. Carrie, do we have an update today? I haven't I haven't heard anything today. Um, so let us know if you've heard anything. Hey Becky. I'm hoping he ha Gary has been moved um to the rehab facility. When I get started creating, I'm gonna have to y'all gotta let me know if you can uh, see okay. I'm trying to make sure from the view down here. Woo! Oh, Minnie, y'all, this was, you know, I'm so happy. This is, you know how you do when somebody's ha having a really rough time and you just want to help and um, being so far away, you can't. So, this I can do and I'm happy to do it. Hey, Janet. Um, Hello, Pat. Gary is moving today, so they have been really busy. She'll get to stay with him tonight. Oh, well, that'll that'll help, I'm sure. That's good news. Good news. Uh, so, answered prayers. Hello, Jermaine. How are you? Hi, Deb and Tammy. Oh, she is Patty. She is such a precious person. And, you know, I know if, um, if the roles were reversed, she would not hesitate to do the same thing for me. So, I hope she comes back to um, even more followers than she left with. Gary wants her beside him. I'm sure he does. I know when Mr. T was in the hospital and it was such a scary time. Hey, Carol, uh, he wanted me there and that's where I wanted to be. Uh, you know, you just wanna keep eyes on him. And uh, this is just, I'm gonna start with this big old 11 by 14 canvas panel from Dollar Tree. I love this size. Yeah, you see my canvas panel. This is something in my head, kind of like yesterday that I did on the Paint Pixie page. This is something in my head that I don't know what it's gonna end up looking like, but we're gonna find out. Hey, Gwen, there's Vicki too, and Tony's here. She will only be able to stay tonight and possibly tomorrow night. Oh, okay, all right, well, um, oh, Lisa, Debbie is just such a sweet, sweet, wonderful friend. Uh, you know, I just love her. I love her. She is exactly what y'all see when she goes live. What is this sticking out? Oh my, I just looked up. Hey, Carla, how are you? Hi, Jerry and Dale. Okay, this is just a piece of drop cloth. I had a big old drop cloth that I bought a long time ago at Harbor Freight. And I like creating with it. It's so imperfect and fun. I love the color. Do you see that imperfection in it right there? I could have gone around that. Mm -mm, I want it. I want it on there. Uh, okay, so what I want to do, we're going to work this out together. We're going to build up on it. Share to the Tater Buggin group. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah. Yeah, we... Carrie is Debbie's right hand, and she does a great job at it. This is my Mod Podge. I'm just going to give this a big old coat of Mod Podge to start with, and we're going to see what we come up with. Hey, Jane. Hey, Barb. I am doing this. It's not my usual day. I am doing this for our sweet Debbie. We've got to keep her Crafting and Grace page going. Um, when we're, you know, when this is our business, 
we take a big hit when we can't go live. You, you know, you'll start to slip out of the algorithm and uh, it takes a lot of work to get back up there. Debbie has worked really hard for her page since she started it and we need to keep it going because she is right where she's supposed to be with her husband and um, so the rest of us can hopefully fill in for her and um, keep that page going as long as they see that page being active and you know Carrie can do the posts uh, she's don't doing a great job with the posting Carrie you want to go live <laughs> If anybody knows any creators that might want to go live on uh, Debbie's page for her until she can get back to doing it herself, uh, hit them up. This is a great community of people who um, love to help each other out. All right. Now, I'm just going to lay this down. I cut it just a little bit bigger than the, the um, panel because we're gonna wrap it like a gift. Oh, good Barb, she's gonna appreciate that. Is Melissa here? Yeah, it, if you can just love on her page as much as you can while she's gone, that's the best thing. Hearts and likes and interaction and comments, that's what Facebook really looks at. Hey, Trudy. Hey, Regina. Yeah, I believe that many with all my heart. You, there you are, Melissa. How are you? I don't know why I'm yelling. I don't have to be so loud. Debbie! There's Debbie. Oh, Debbie. You had a second one. Gary eats. Oh, we love you too, Debbie. Hey, Lisa. Send Debbie those hearts, y'all. Yeah, we know Debbie is reading those comments. Now, she can't, she doesn't have the time to respond to each and every one of them, y'all know. But, um, I know, I know sweet Debbie's reading them. All right. So, I think to wrap the back, I'm just going to do hot glue. Because that stuck down really well. Everybody's loving on Debbie. Oh, I just love it. Can you, I know you can't be here long, Debbie, but can you tell us how, how Gary's doing right now? Tell him we're all praying for him, as we are. We've got to get him back home, where he's supposed to be with his family. Oh, I've got to, I've got to talk to you, Melissa. I'm just, I'm just uh, eavesdropping on y'all and y'all talking to Debbie. I'll just be wrapping this canvas while y'all talk to Debbie. We love y'all so much, Debbie. And of course, in true form, my nose has to start itching as soon as I go live. I want to do this differently. Then I don't want all the bulk on the back. Look at all those hearts. Y'all are awesome. So, so awesome. It's a... Um, I'll tell you this, y'all. And I mean this with all my heart. And I've said it. A lot of times in my life because I've usually been the caregiver for loved ones I would much prefer being the one in that bed than my loved one being there it's hard it is hard to watch them not feeling well he's doing well medically stable now so they just moved us today to an intensive therapy rehab hospital that's wonderful that's wonderful Debbie he's coming right along Answer prayers for sure. Hey, Chris 
Christina, you showed up. Thank you. I'm so glad everybody's showing up for Debbie. Keeping her page going. It's hard. It's it's exhausting. It's scary. You gotta you've gotta stay strong. You're their advocate. What did I touch? Ow. You're their advocate. I mean, I stood over. I get sassy, you know, when it's somebody I love. I um I watch them like a hawk in the hospital. I've, I've done it. I started with you know my dad and then um. My mother-in-law, I would go, I would sit in the hospital with her every time she went in the hospital. Somebody's got to be there, you know? And um, it's just, I stood over Mr. T when, the, you know, surgeons are notorious for getting a little too big for their britches. I don't know why. I don't know why. But something went wrong and we seriously almost lost Mr. T. And I stood, when my husband couldn't talk and didn't know what was going on, I stood over that bed and I stopped that doctor and I said, you are going to talk to me. This man right here on this bed, that's my whole life right there. And you will talk to me and you will keep me informed. And I think he had a look on his face like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you had that in you. Well, a lot of people don't because I don't do that unless I have to. But by golly, I'm going to let you know, this is my whole entire world. So I will be tough to deal with if you don't talk to me. He changed, he changed with me immediately and he knew I was going to have to, um, that he was going to have to spend time with me and not dismiss me. So I know that's what Debbie's doing for Gary. Um, yeah, <laughs> yes, I promise you, I will fight for the people I love. I will. <laughs> And I know Debbie's the same way. And I know she's, you know, we can be all, you know, Southern and sweet. And I'm not saying to be ugly, but I'm saying that when you're dealing with somebody I love, I'm a mama bear. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, you know, they're they're helpless in that bed. They're de dependent on you. I want somebody there that's going to, you know, fight for me if I'm in that position. I'm not going to just take their word for it. I will do my own research and I'm going to make sure that you talk to me. Oh, I flipped that right on to me, didn't I? So that's all I needed to do. So the neurologist has been thinking the stroke was AFib, heart related, but it never showed up. When we checked in here at the rehab hospital today, the nurse said, oh, you have some AFib issues and we didn't get that in the reports. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. That really, that upsets me. Those are the kind of things, you don't mess with lives like that. And I understand people are human and they make mistakes. But you gotta try harder when it's life or death. You know what I mean? You just gotta try harder. Y'all remember this beautiful stamp from Boho Bevy Boutique that I got? I've never done an IOD stamp before, and look how big it is. So we're playing with this today. Daddy Carrie. Yes, you do, Debbie. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, that's that's that has to be our job. There was a day you could take people to the hospital and go home at night, and, you know, I don't been a long time they've got and right now they've got their hands full with so many um, and uh, short staffed I remember um, he was still in AFib when she checked again two minutes later she said he's out of it now okay yes Jerry exactly um, when I was sitting with my mother-in-law one of the times I was sitting with her the nurse came in and uh, she starts fiddling with the IV and all. And she turned to me and she said, did we give her such and such medicines? And I said, are you telling me you don't know? Um, because I kind of think that should have been written in the chart. I had, sand it, tell me Lisa, 
tell me what to do because I've never sanded a stamp. But when they asked me if she had been given whatever medicine, I thought, um, wow, that's the least thing. You, you know, write it down. I wrote everything down in the notebook that I had with me, and they got to where they were dependent on me for stuff like that. I thought, what if, what if nobody was here with her? Really, Debbie? Oh my goodness. At one point, my late hubby was hospitalized for 40 days. I bet you do, Cindy. Oh my goodness. Run your sand block both directions over stamp to prime it. Okay. All right. Now you, you watch me and make sure I'm doing this right. So just a regular sanding block like this, back and forth. Oh my goodness, Holly. Sand it to rough it up so it accepts the ink better. Oh, that makes sense. See, when y'all do that, that makes me understand it better. Okay. Oh gosh, and it feels so wrong. <laughs> oh really, you don't prime yours, Jane? Okay, well. It feels wrong to me because it's brand new and so pristine, but I'm gonna try to get get over that. I'll just lightly sand, maybe. I don't know. This is one that Jane uses, and it, oh, it's so pretty. All right, so y'all holler out if I'm doing something wrong. So I'm gonna take this is the biggest ink pad I have, but I'm just gonna rub this all over this stamp on the back. Make sure it's coated, hopefully. And this is going to be a background, so I'm not going to fret if every little bit doesn't take. Oh, don't do that, Lindy. Don't get ink on the, that. Lord have mercy, this could be a hot mess. Make sure I at least hit most. What was that? It was me. Oh, yes. Y'all, I'm going to kill him one of these days. <laughs> Thank you, Gwen. What you making? I, I'm playing in ink. Playing in ink. You're going to kill me one of these days. I'm going to sit right here live and I have a daggum heart attack nah, yeah. in front of everybody. Nah, yeah. That's good for you. It gets your blood pumping. Does it now? Uh-huh. Yeah. Where does it? Um, so he's going to be on right after... Me at 5.30 Central, and he's cooking something really good tonight, y'all. Yep, we got a lot going on tonight. Yep. Yeah, he's got a couple of things. So. Jay-Z. Isn't he bad, Lisa? Yeah, Jay-Z. He calls <laughs> Judy Zeppa Jay-Z. Jay-Z. There's Tony Hay. Y'all behave. I know, y'all almost saw me suck him. Yeah, Betty says he's going to give me a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, I'm going to give him a knuckle sandwich. Um, they want to know what you're cooking. Is it a surprise? It's not a surprise. Okay, We're go gonna ahead. Have, um, Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in the kitchen. Back in the kitchen, Mary. Yeah. Well, mm. that wasn't so great. It takes a lot of ink, doesn't it? It does. You can hammer it. You know what? That's okay for the pro for what we're doing today. That's okay. I'm gonna accept that as a win. We are having a pretzel and cheese. Uh, oh, how you say? It? I guess coated chicken tender rolled chicken in chicken chicken tenders. <laughs> chicken tender <laughs> rolled in uh, pretzels and cheese and uh, a salad, and we're gonna make all of it all by ourselves. Need to prank him in the kitchen. Yeah, you can't do that. I can't. I wish I could. I have tried for 37 years. He doesn't, you know, you'll see these TikToks where they say, match your energy. And they'll, a girl will run in and it's like, ah, and her husband starts running around. What? What? He'd just stand there and look at me like I was crazy. I just say, what? <laughs> what, what do you want? What? <laughs> yeah. If you could line that up kind of bang on it, it would print it a little better. I'll let you do it if you no, feel just... like you can. Yeah, how are you going to line that up? I'm going to leave it Hey, right, get back in the kitchen, Mary. <laughs> We're just here to have fun anyway, right? 
Yeah, he is the calm one. He's so calm. He's going to be the death of me, though. So, okay, I have to go. Okay, we love you, Debbie. Thank you for being here for a little bit. We just love you to pieces. Tell Gary we're all behind him. Oh, you're sweet, Barb. Now we have to decide what we want to put on this. What? Oh, D design we want to put. These are both from Boho Bevy Boutique, as well as that stamp. Y'all show Lori some love if you're ordering. Hey, Gail. Hey, Penny. I'm so glad y'all could come. Yeah, we need to get as many people over here as we can. I'm burning up. I had to open the windows. Woo! Then he had to go and scare me. Probably got my blood pressure up. I, I think I know the one I'm going to use, but I just want to look in here real quick. No, I know the one I want to use. I'm pretty sure. And I think... Hmm. Almost... Let me see something. I do too, Melissa. They're gorgeous. They're so pretty. I think this is the one I want to do. I want to... Um, also, I can't wait to do some containers. Some bottles and containers with these fun labels that are in this book. Oh, yeah, it's this middle weather. It's uh, in the 60s today, but it's humid and rainy. And the rain started just a little bit ago. It's just odd weather, you know? It just feels funny. And I refuse to turn on the air yet. Oh, really? <laughs> You're excitable. That's one way to put it, huh? Every single, Gloria, every single um, transfer in both of these books is gorgeous. I saw Joni at Weathered Wings. Um had taken a board and she very carefully placed a whole bunch of the whispering willows uh oh, it was beautiful uh i bet carrie does i think i do is it carrie it, the winds were 40 miles an hour here today the book with the labels is called ephemeral melange and it's awesome too Hey, Claire, 56 in Arizona. I can't, you know, I can't believe we're warmer than, than y'all are right now. Hey, Natasha. What is the name of the beautiful stamp? It is called Le Courier. Le Courier. Le Courier. It's French, and I took lots of years of French, and there I'm stumbling over. Would it be Courier? Spell it like courier, and that's what it is. Um, I know, and like where Jane is, they're having a terrible ice storm up in Wisconsin, so I feel guilty a little bit complaining. Hey, Simone. <laughs> it's 83, Melissa. It shouldn't be that. You know, I just hope we get some spring where we just get some of that great sunny and 70 or low 70s that would be awesome oh see i think that's going to be really pretty i'll see how the not a whole lot of not a whole lot of that background is going to show anyway i just wanted the texture ice storm in michigan too <laughs> Gwen, yeah i guess so oh my goodness Arctic here with the winds. Ugh. You're having it in Northern Illinois. Yuck. You know, we just had a um, an ice storm here not too long ago. Look at my red nose. Allergies. Okay, let's start just, just transferring. Hopefully this is going to work. Because you know I'm not a professional. And I'm just here to have fun. <laughs> oh, you can't pin the, the link. Carrie, can you pin that link to Boho Bevy Boutique by any chance? Being an admin on this page. I didn't think about that, Cindy. 
Cindy's my admin on Tater Buggin'. Oh, I just thought of something. Oh, I was talking about Cindy. It's been such a crazy day. Cindy, I've got to get that project that you did ready before Mr. T goes live. Oh my goodness. Oh, mercy. <laughs> I've got this piece behind me that I did similarly. It's a canvas panel and I just painted the background and put the um, transfer on top and I love the colors so much. I just think it's so pretty. And y'all, I think we're gonna have to have an auction Sunday. Um, I think it's auction time again. Are y'all ready for another auction? Uh, because projects are piling up and that reminded me because that'll be that will be one that's available in the auction you can do that while he's live that's true but he wants me to read the comments out loud even though half the time he's so busy cooking he won't listen to me <laughs> but I can you're right if I finish this on time, I'll have plenty of time to do it. Oh, this is called Maid of Honor. That's uh, the rose is. I like that. Yes, Debbie, they certainly are. That That's a big job, y'all. I will tell you, being an admin is a big job. And a lot goes on behind the scenes. A lot. I just want to, I always like to give it one really good uh, rub before I start to pull from the top. And then we'll just see how this is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Perfect. A professional transfer? You mean like a, a like one of these IOD transfers, Gwen? They're awesome. I love them. I love working with them. So what, how's everybody doing today? How many do we have? We got 99. Oh, we need more people for Debbie. We need to get some more peeps in here. Gwen, I know. It's so funny. You, you can't really tell when things are going to arrive or not, right? Yeah, so you have some on order. You're just waiting for them to get there to play with. I can't wait to see what you do with yours. You are so talented. I'm very creative. I know. Here too many. Um, it's settled down now that some rain came through, but it was uh, 40 miles an hour. Ooh, it was, that's why my face is red, my nose is red. When the wind starts blowing, we already have things blooming here. And um, ooh, even Mr. T was in here earlier and saying, just turn on the air. He said, I'm afraid with that wind blowing, you're going to be down for the count. I said, I know, but I just refuse to turn air conditioning on in February. Just this little unit out here in my studio, but still, I'm stubborn. But if I get too hot, I may have to. Oh, look, y'all. So pretty. I love this. 
this group of people. It'll make me happy. This is this one has taken so well, so easily. I love it. Even over the imperfections in this uh, drop cloth. Did I miss? Did you ever get your box from? <laughs> no, poor Jane. She finally said, "You know what? I'm just gonna send another one." I feel so bad. I think it went. Jane, if you're still here and can hear me. Did it ever make it back to you, or is it just lost? Because I've gotten every other package that she sent me. Ooh. What do y'all think of that? I almost think I need to do a little, um, maybe like a green, soft edging around this. And y'all saw how easy that was. This is a Dollar Tree canvas panel, an old piece of drop cloth. Um, I wet it. You could, you know, wash the whole thing, but I was in a hurry today. So I cut the piece, I wet it, rinsed it really well, and I threw it in the dryer with a bounce sheet, a used bounce sheet, actually. Um, and it's soft. And then just covered this with that and a stamp and a transfer and it really that is a pretty I like that it's very soft in the background too and that stamp perfect I love that stamp I always like to look at it in the camera because then I can see it a little differently I don't want to mess it up but I'm almost thinking if I could do a pretty green at the top and bottom just where the stamp didn't fit. What do y'all think about that? Oh, I'm so glad y'all like it. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Oh, we're over a hundred now. Yay. So look, the green would be perfect. Hey, Cindy. I'm so happy you're here. That's Cindy from Recycled Charm. Y'all got to check out her artwork. It's beautiful. Green gingham material. I don't know that I have any, but you know what? That reminds me. Let me uh, let me grab something here. Let's see. We'll see what we can do in the way of material for. Um... Oh, I don't have enough. I wish I had more of this. That would be really. Oh, that would be so perfect. I only have this much of this ribbon. But that green is perfect. Can you see that? That would be, that would be good. Oh, Brenda, I'm happy to do it. Lace and pearls. Oh, lace I've got. Let's see what a little bit of lace looks like. That might be really pretty. Okay, getting out my lace. Where are you, lace? Um, 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 um. Did I get smart and uh, organize that? No, here it is, right here. You know, I didn't remember if I put that in my, my new little case or not. Maybe just the top and bottom. That's kind of what I'm thinking, just the top and bottom. Do as you feel. Yeah, let's see. We'll just, we won't do anything permanent yet we'll just play and see what things look like and if we just want to leave it as is that's what we'll do we're not we don't have to do it yeah see that's going to be too it comes down too far I'll just hold it up for you i'm going to get y'all's y'all to have a view of thank you carrie for that you see Petey gwen but can't tell how many pages are in the book. Can you show the bunny ones pages? Yes, Sandra, I sure can. Yes, I can. 
This one has eight sheets, and you'll see all eight sheets. I'm going to open it up in a minute, but this one is 12 by 16, and there's eight sheets, so you get a whole lot. So, now see, I've used some of the sheets already. I've cut out the deer. I've uh, cut out some from this sheet. Let me pull it back a little bit so y'all can see. There's the one with the bunny on it, but you see I've already I cut, I think this was a mushroom. I can't wait to use this little bird. And then that hedgehog adorable, that's gonna be a fun project, where are you? I think. That's a, I think that's a badger. Aren't they pretty, a hummingbird? I just think they're gorgeous. I mean, can, how many projects could you get out of this, for goodness sakes? That beautiful um, floral is so pretty. Uh, I wonder what it was. Let me see, Barb. What did Barb Color say? I can't log up. Oh, can you draw paint? Sorry, silk ribbon. Um, I'm sure you could dye it. I don't know why you couldn't paint it. <laughs> I could paint that hedgehog. I would love to do that, actually. Where is he? Couldn't remember if he was on the front. Let me see that. Yeah, y'all know I miss painting my animals. We may have to do that one day. There's, it's all transfers. And so, let's say this didn't fit. This, all of this didn't fit on one your your project you can cut around pieces and move them around that's what's so great um you don't have to keep them all together as one you just cut it up look at the little crown to go on you can put it on the bird you can put it on the fox i love these mushrooms y'all y'all saw the um train case i did my train case in with this book Someone did paint the sorry silk. I don't see why you couldn't. Yeah, the animal thing. You know that's right up my alley. And then there's some strawberries. I like these uh, willows too. The weeping willows. It's a beautiful, beautiful transfer book. In case you didn't see it. This is my train case that I redid and used transfers from that book. Uh, all over it and I love it this train case was ugly I just love how it turned out and it's all the all from that one book so you can get a ton out of one of those transfer books let me see if there's a different size lace that we can try on the top here I right, thank you Judy I had uh, I gutted the inside a long time ago, cleaned it up real good. It was a mess on the inside, really a mess. And I had tried to clean it up and put the baking soda in it and leave it for a while. Um, but it still smelled musty, and I just couldn't get the, the gross out of it. You know, some of them are in pretty decent shape. That particular, I've got, I bought some that were really in good shape. This one was not, but I got it for next to nothing. Um, and so um, I pulled all of that out one Saturday and I cleaned it really well. And then I just decoupaged old pattern pieces inside it. And I love it, I love it. Okay, let's hold that up and see what y'all think about that lace. I see, I like that one better. Plus, it, it fits that space really well, and it doesn't detract from the image. Yes, the name of that one is Whispering Willow. Whispering Willow. And I think the last I heard, she had plenty of those. She, she had put in an order for the um, ephemeral melange, too, so she's probably got that by now as well. Do you like that lace? Yeah, I kind of think this uh, this lace is, is it. That just kind of finishes it off and gives it a little something. We could do this top and bottom, and I think that would just be perfect. 
Oh, that would be pretty, Penny. You're so crafty, aren't you? Mercy. I'm trying to think, what would be the best way? I guess I'm going to use the Eileen's uh, tacky glue to put this down. Lace with ribbon on top. If I could find the, you know, just the right ribbon that looked good. The transfers are IOD transfers, Beverly. They're from Boho Bevy Boutique. Her name is Lori Goshi, and she's awesome to work with. And right here where it's supposed to be. I store my Eileen's upside down because mercy. I wrestle, it's so thick, I wrestle with it to um, get the glue to come to the bottom, I mean, to the top, rather. Use clothespins while it dries. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. That's what I'll do. Let me get my clothes. I've got my clothespins right over there in the bin. I'll get those out right now. You do too, Betty. Yeah. Yep. Let me grab these uh, clothespins. Right I don't know, I'm just so organized. <laughs> I do have an, a bin that's just for all my clothes pins. Thanks to Moidle. Yeah, that's what I decided I was going to do. Store it upside down in my little cart right next to me. Um, I know what you mean. They have transfers at Hobby Lobby, but they're not IOD transfers. I have used the ones at Hobby Lobby um, in projects before, but I don't think they really order them much anymore because uh, I haven't seen a good restock in a couple of years, actually. I got so excited, y'all. Yesterday, I went to um, Southern Vintage for the first time since I moved out of my booth. I've missed... Southern Vintage so much. And I walked the store. I got some treasures. Three old books that I love. And y'all will be seeing those in projects soon. Um, and our Dixie Bell retailer has recycled papers. So if I need some recycled papers, I can go right up to Southern Vintage and get them. I was excited about that. some uh, transfers from Dollar Tree. Y'all, if they ever have those little um, botanicals is what I call them. They look like kind of like ivy. Uh, grab them because they're great. Man, my nose is red. I'm so sorry. Um, I've bought two or three of those little sheets and I'll use them on tiny projects. They're great for altered trading cards too. What am I looking for? I need this. What you doing, Bo? It's raining. He could go through the house to get to the kitchen, but he decided to go out that doggy door and in the other one while it's raining. Keep your head at that, Chindy. It's 
just a reflection from the roses. What did I miss? I'm not missing anything important. Yeah, I, I go to Team U. Yeah, yeah, you have to go to a stockist or retailer, right? Yeah. Oh, my red nose is a reflection. Is that what it is? Oh. You sure my nose is sitting that red? I don't know. Looks red to me. <laughs> Thank you, Minnie. Thank you so much. Want to do good for Debbie. Can't be on her page doing any ugly stuff. I really like the lace on it. I really do. I think that's going to be good. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, that's messy. You're helping a sister out. Thank you so much, Betty. It is a reflection from these beautiful roses. I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah, it just kind of it blends perfectly with the um, color of the drop cloth. I like, I think it's so fun to put something that's kind of old and grungy and imperfect together with something really beautiful. I just, I don't know why, that really appeals to me. there to that corner where it frayed a little bit. That lace is going to be tucked around it anyway. Hey, Marie. Thank you. Oh, it's your first time. Now, is it your first time watching um, me or is it your first time on Crafting in Grace or both? Because I would love for you to follow Debbie's page, Crafting in Grace. And if you want to, you can follow Tater Bugging too. Okay, so we've got that. I, you know, I'm a less is more kind of gal. I watch other creators, though, who will get to a point where I think, oh, it's done, that looks so good. And then they'll go further and it's like, oh, that's so much better. So I don't want to stop too soon. So what do y'all think? I'm going to, it's hard to, to see it with the um, clothespins on it. But look, see down here um, where that imperfection was in the drop cloth? I think it just gives it more character. I love it. I love it. Look, let me cover my, my red nose for a shot. This isn't a good... Um, in a good money shot anyway. I'll get a picture of it tomorrow when it's good and dry. But I love this, y'all. I really do. This, you know, you could put this in an 11 by 14 frame, obviously, because it's a canvas panel. But you could also just put it, you know, display it on a pretty um, cake plate, just like that. And, you know, you don't have to frame it, something like this. And look how quick and easy that came together um, for, you know, relatively very little money. And it would make a beautiful gift. Can you imagine a mother's, this is a Mother's Day gift? I think it's gorgeous. Um, and it just all came together perfectly. The little, uh, the little vision in my head came out okay. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, if y'all wouldn't mind, come on back. Come on over to Tater Buggin'. We'll be in the kitchen with Mr. T at, in, what, 40 minutes? He's getting some chicken ready, and he's got a salad. He's gonna, um, I think he's gonna make 
It's a dressing that I used to make, a salad dressing that I used to make. It's great to dip your chicken in or um, on a salad. I love it. And so he's going to give you all that recipe tonight. Oh, Carrie, you know, uh, as long as I'm needed, I, you know, I'm going to help out and hop over here and uh, maybe rally some more troops. We'll see how long, you know, uh, I don't know how long um, Debbie may be out of commission. I haven't heard that yet, uh, but we just got to keep her page rocking and rolling while she's gone. Even if it, even if we can grow it some while she's gone, wouldn't that be great? I think that would be awesome. So we'll be back on in uh, at 5:30 Central. Y'all are so sweet to be here with me today, and for Debbie, and um, y'all just remember to show her page as much love as you can while she's gone. You're your uh, reactions, your comments, they they equate to a lot for us creators. And, um, you know, we'll just keep, Carrie's going to keep posting. She'll be back soon. She'll need to stay busy while he's in there. Good. Okay, Carrie. Well, good. So she may not be out of pocket too long. And, um, yeah, so y'all just let all your friends know about Crafting in Grace. I know you have already. Um and uh, how much you love our sweet Debbie. I'm going to pack this up, turn off the lights, move all the equipment into the kitchen, and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all. Thank you again.